gamers on YouTube. My name is Say Bob. I'm a Korean gamer, but I play games in English. Right now, the gameplay trailer of Dokke V is becoming a big issue throughout the world, and everyone is dying to know more about it. And that's exactly what it is. I scraped all the information I can find on Dokke V from the internet, and here they are. Enjoy. The world of Dookie is not so distant future where the AI technology has made a great advancement. In this world, there is an organization known as the company that manufactures android robots to make human lives better. However, the dark secret is that Dookie are used to make chips for the company which makes them evil. The main character lives on a journey to meet and make friends with Dookie in this journey, the main character will find out about the dark truth behind the company and must fight to free Dogevis. Dogevis are creatures born from people's dreams. They're born when unfulfilled desires or thoughts show up in people's dreams. In the game, when certain conditions are met, the player can become friends with Dogevi. Each Dukevi has its own story and condition to make them join you. Some Dukevis are easy to get and some are not. In the gameplay trailer, there is a scene that resembles Ghostbusters. They're actually trying to rescue the Dukevi, not capturing it. You can see various Dukevis in the trailer and they're usually inspired from Korean folklore. The Dukevi that looks like an anteater and Drowsy is actually inspired from a Korean mystical creature, Bulgasari, an immortal creature that eats iron. As you've seen, the game's battle system is based on real-time action. The developers are trying to make the gameplay look fancy with easy controls. In other words, to make it look like players are good at what they're doing. There are special moves you can use with Dukevis too. Dukevis fight using AI, and when the player uses a certain special move, Dukevi will join you and use the move together. Each Dukevi has its own feature, so you can change Dukevis you use for different strategies. For boss battles, there are various patterns, quick time events, and puzzle-like gimmicks. The developers also mentioned something about adding giant boss battles for later for additional contents. So I guess that's like raid boss battles, maybe? The world of Dukevi uses a resource known as Dream Piece. They're used when riding on skateboards or to go to higher places. Patrol drones from the company will detect when you use Dream Piece and come flying at you. Drones will shoot laser as a warning and other drones will come carrying androids. When those androids land, that's when battle starts. The game uses large Korean cities like Seoul or Busan as references and the developers used streets near their company as references too. At first, the game map was quite plain and flat, so the developers added vertical buildings, a lot of them, to be more creative with the space. Also, the island from the game used Ulleung Island from Korea as reference. The gameplay trailer shows two towns, including the White Whale Town. The actual size of the map is 10 times bigger than what was shown in the trailer. There is a possibility that it could even get bigger. Game designer Chang Gi Nam said he actually tried traveling around the map on a skateboard and it was almost exhausting since the map was so big. The umbrella you saw from the trailer has a special ability. It can hide the player. Its concept comes from the Dukebi hat from a Korean folklore that makes its wearer invisible. 
Also, according to the trailer, the player rides on a skateboard, roller skate, bicycle, mini car, and spider web. A Korean YouTuber, UZ, whose contents are based on riding skateboards and longboards, helped with the motion capture where the main character rides her longboard. And since the world of Dokkaebi is not so distant future, all cars in the game are automated. If you look carefully, there are no drivers in the car. As father themselves, the developers tried to create a world free from car accidents and where the safety of pedestrians come first. When you were watching the trailer, I'm sure you noticed how the character was transforming into an adult woman. According to the developers, the character transformation is an important content of the game, but details are to be disclosed. The developers said they didn't want to add Korean elements to the game by force. They wanted Korean elements to sink in naturally with the game. You can find Korean cultural activities like putting up sotte. playing Korean children's game, open up the gate, and flying kite as mini-games. The game is currently being developed for PC, consoles, and mobiles. However, the current development focuses on PC and consoles only. Cross-play between different platforms is a possibility, but according to the developers, we just don't know yet. The game is currently under development, so it's hard to say when it'll be released. But the key components of the game are mostly done, most footages from the trailer are from quality assurance, so I hope it won't take too long before it's released. And that was all the information I could find on Dokkaebi from the internet. If you were curious about the game, I hope that helps. I really do. And if you want to check out my other funny game videos, or if you want more information in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, bye!